The bill in the house kept the top rate at 39.6. I was focused on uh, the rates with low and middle income individuals. Um, that's what I was, that's what motivated me to really spend a lot of time looking at what the growth projections were going to be, how it was going to help uh, different cohorts uh, out. And we voted the bill out of the house with the, that top rate remaining the same. There was some stuff in there, by the way, that I would have tweaked, uh, but I still uh, voted for the house bill coming out. Then it, the Senate votes on their bill, then it goes to conference committee, and it comes back and it goes from 39.6 to 37. Here's what I know. If you are a single mother making $41,000 a year, thirteen dollars to $1,500 in savings. If you are a family of four, uh, and the median income in my district is, I think, about $125,000, $125, you stand to keep another $2,500, $3,000 of your money. When you look at those who need a tax break the most, uh, let's just say, when you look at those who should be keeping a little bit more of their money most, low and middle income families benefit from this bill. Um, the data shows that over and over and over. It is understandably, um, I can see how you look at a certain tax bracket and say, well, they don't need it as much as those folks need it. I would agree with you. But I get one vote. It's either status quo or this tax bill. And I do feel that it will, to um, Randy's uh, point, I do believe that when CBO scores this, uh, they, do it, they do it in a much more, I don't, I'm not an economist, they do it in a much more static fashion than other economists do. I think that you are going to get GDP growth above what is projected. And the, that's cool. Stars <laughs> that's good. You had that. We were waiting for that. Uh, so here's, here's, um, here's a data point that I think is very relevant. Over a 10 year uh, window, if the average GDP growth is three tenths of a point higher than that which is projected, then the projected uh, debt is negated. Because over a 10 year period, one tenth of a percentage point increase in average GDP growth is about a half a trillion dollars. So three tenths of a point is about 1.5 trillion. 